In these parts, Canterbury is known as Soccer Central, the Cavaliers' owners of countless sectional, regional, and state championships, but never for the girls. The Lady Cavaliers have rewritten that script in 2014, making a run to their first appearance in a state championship game and trying to take things one step further. 1A state final in Indianapolis this afternoon. Cavs and Evansville modern day hooking up. Scoreless early in the first. Canterbury on the attack. And look at Sydney Colby. Oh, cutting loose from outside the box. That one draws the post. The Wildcats respond. 22nd minute. Great look out in front. But Alexa Habig is there. The junior stopped all seven shots she's faced today. So we're scoreless at the half. 41st minute now. Best opportunity of the match to this point. Reagan West crosses to Abby Bergeron. Woo! Point blank, but doesn't quite get enough foot behind it. That's okay because in the 72nd minute, guess who? It's Colby with a rip back of the nets. Cavs go up one zip. That would prove to be the game winner. And for the first time in program history, the Canterbury girls are state champions. Here's the hero afterwards. It was amazing. My words cannot describe how excited I am and how proud I am of my team. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Uh, Evansville, modern day, played awesome. They put out a great effort. It was awesome. I do think we can do it again. I have a lot of confidence that we can come back next year. And it feels great to bring a state championship for the girls' soccer for once. It's what I've always dreamt about. Um, I was, unfortunately, in high school, I was only able to win a state championship in basketball, but I don't really feel that's unfortunate. Uh, very blessed. I always wanted to grasp one in soccer since that was a sport that I play. And to be able to do it as a coach and for Canterbury uh, is a great feeling. The Cavs plan to hold a championship celebration pep rally a week from Monday.